1933, Bishop John Cantwell of the Los Angeles Diocese appealed to the Hollywood producers in his diocese to make more decent movies. Since sex and violence sells, Bishop Cantwell was ignored. So a committee of four bishops, headed by John T. McNicholas of the Cincinnati Diocese, was formed to study the problem. The committee recommended the formation of the Legion of Decency, whose members would pledge to attend only good films and to get their friends to do likewise. The Legion was formed in 1934, and every diocese in the country formed a branch. Archbishop McNicholas said, The sole purpose of the Legion of Decency is to arouse millions of Americans to a consciousness of the dangers of salacious and immoral pictures and to take action against them. The Legion generated a great deal of attention in the secular press. In 1934, there were 173 editorials about the Legion in secular newspapers, and of those, 168 of them were supportive. The Legion had no officers, no meetings, and no dues, but the movement spread like wildfire. Some dioceses distributed bumper stickers saying, We demand clean movies. One Sunday every year, 15 million Catholics from every diocese in America were asked to stand in church and to recite a pledge. And it said, I condemn all indecent and immoral motion pictures and those which glorify crime or criminals. I promise to do all that I can to strengthen public opinion against the production of indecent and immoral films and to unite with all those who protest against them. I acknowledge my obligation to form a right conscience about pictures that are dangerous to my moral life. I pledge myself to remain away from them. I promise, further, to stay away altogether from places of amusement which show them as a matter of policy. The pledge imposed no new obligations on Catholics, but it confirmed the dictates of a well-formed conscience that commands Catholics to avoid occasions of sin, scandal, and to not support offensive films. Even many Protestants and Jews publicly took the pledge. The Legion rated films and provided its recommendations in diocesan newspapers, pamphlets, and flyers. There is strength in numbers, since most Catholics were serious about the religion in those days, and they supported the efforts of the Legion, it had a significant influence on the entertainment industry. The Legion was very skillful in lobbying Hollywood, and it leveraged its influence. When I looked at the list of films that were condemned by the League, it occurred to me that I had never even heard of most of the films. But that is testimony to the success of the League. And that's because the Legion's boycott seriously impacted a film's distribution and profitability. A film condemned by the Legion usually became a box office failure, and those films are now forgotten. Some theaters, such as the Tivoli Theater in Downers Grove, Illinois, announced that they would only show films that were approved by the Legion. Did you ever watch a film that seemed pretty good, but then it was ruined by some awkward and ridiculous woke scene? The Legion of Decency worked to eliminate that type of thing. Studios started to work with the Legion and agreed to cut objectionable scenes to avoid a boycott. Some notable films that cut scenes and then went on to box office success were A Streetcar Named Desire, The Seven Year Itch, and Spartacus. Among all the agencies engaged in classifying motion pictures, the Legion of Decency was the greatest single force in the molding of public opinion and appreciation. But then came the Second Vatican Council. The post-conciliar church was much more interested in things like ecumenism and unity than it was in saving men's souls. Many good and profitable things were dropped along the wayside, and among those good things was the Legion of Decency. However, we now wait and pray for a restoration of all things good and profitable. And when the restoration comes, the church will bring back the Legion of Decency. In its new incarnation, I am hopeful that it will also address television and social media. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back again within a week with another one. But in the meantime, please check out my Facebook page and my Twitter page. Every day I post additional content that you won't find on this YouTube channel. And also, please pray for the church. They're going to put me in the movies. They're going to make a big star out of me. We'll make a scene about a man that's sad and lonely. All I gotta do is act naturally.